Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm doing actually pretty well, I must say, because I posted a shadow photography video nine months ago and it finally reached a thousand views. And it may not seem a lot to some people, but for me it actually means the world. Having a video that gets a thousand views and people like and enjoy watching it is something special. And therefore I wanted to celebrate it with another shadow photography video. I jumped onto the internet and I looked for shadow photography images on Google Images, Pinterest, Interest, Google Images, Pinterest and Instagram. And I came up with a few ideas because of my inspiration and now I think I'm gonna recreate them. Okay, I'm standing in front of the window right now because I was experimenting with a sieve and a shadow on my face because the first image I'm going for is kind of like a shadow portrait but I ran into a problem. The light from outside is that soft that the sieve is casting hardly any shadow on my face. I mean, I tried with my hand with this thief and as you can see, yeah, there's not a lot of shadow on my hand from the thief. So I have to come up with something else. I'm thinking maybe using a table lamp um, to achieve the image I'm going for. I reconstructed my room a little bit. I moved the fridge that's usually standing right here a little bit more to the left. And then I placed a table lamp right next to me and currently I'm filming with my softbox, but that's gonna change because I'm just using my table lamp for the images. So for the next images I'm gonna use some objects, so you don't have to look any longer at my weird face with a seat in front of it. But anyway, I'm gonna use objects. In this case, I'm gonna use a fork because I think the shadow of a fork can look really interesting and differently than the fork itself. image I'm gonna use this glass of water and I'm gonna place it on this piece of paper create a shadow and see what image we can create and actually I'm really thirsty So, I took the pictures, I put them in Lightroom, I edited them a little bit, so let's have a look. The first image I took was the self-portrait of me, where the thief was casting a shadow on my face. And when I was posing, it, it felt really weird, having the thief in my face at different distances, but when I looked at the image on my computer and I cropped in so you can't see the sieve anymore and I turned the image black and white it was actually a really nice picture so sometimes weird poses turn into great pictures I mean I think that's the lesson we can take from today the second image I took was the image of the forks I put on a piece of paper and it's really interesting how the shadows are so different than the forks itself and changing the position of the fork and how you place them on a piece of paper changed the shadow dramatically. Okay this is the last picture and honestly I don't know what I was thinking about. I mean it looked better in my head but unfortunately the image I don't know just a glass with a weird shadow. I mean 
the water in the glass creates a nice fraction of the light so the shadow has a nice shape and kind of like a more dynamic look to it but it wasn't really that interesting honestly but well sometimes if you try to be creative something great comes up and sometimes it just looks weird but maybe the weird stuff is creative as well i don't know that's it for today i hope you enjoyed watching this video kind of like the second version of shadow photography if you haven't seen the first one go check it out as well subscribe to the channel leave a like down below and i see you in the next one bye